So today I'm going to be reviewing this 12 volt 1.2 liter kettle. Um, it's supposed to be 120 watts, so it will consume quite a few amps at 12 volts. So I reckon it's going to consume roughly 10 amps. And it's manufactured by Batard Co Limited. So if you're running any sort of high power device in a car, really the first thing you should do is just cut this off straight away put an XT60 connector on it and also replace the 12 volt socket in your car with an XT60 connector because for these hydrogen devices these tw these 12 volt connectors, cigarette lighter sockets, they always just get absolutely roasting uh, as was the case when I tested it the fuse inside got roasting, the tip of it got roasting and in some cases I've read reviews of these sorts of things and the connections have just melted so I'm going to replace this with an XT60 connector and then I'll get on with the review so then there we go got an XT60 connector put on there nicely and well I suppose you can use whatever high current connector you want but XT60 tends to be the standard for these sorts of things for projects and stuff but I'm sure you could use uh, Deans or whichever else but just make sure you get the polarity right because the, the kettle also has an LED in my case on this connector number two is positive number one is negative so we'll get this out to the car and I'll put a watt meter on it too and we'll time how long it takes to boil uh, I suppose I'll just put one liter of water in it and give that a try so an actual fact it doesn't even hold one liter of water uh, you'd barely be able to fit one liter in it so it's got 900 milliliters in it so I'll get it plugged in just now and we'll see how long it takes to boil 900 milliliters of water so that's exactly two minutes past eight, I've plugged it in. Uh, here's our voltages and currents here. So it's drawing pretty much 120 watts. So as you can see, I've replaced the connection here with an XT60 because they're just so much more effective than the 12 volt cigarette lighter socket. Really, the 12 volt cigarette lighter socket can only I wouldn't even put more than 5 amps through it to be honest because at 10 amps it's not even safe, it just gets roasting. Supposedly they are designed for 10 amps but really they're not. So it's pulling 9.1 .9 amps so to be quite honest with you that is going to take quite a while to boil all of that water. But you can kind of see it in there starting to bubble on the heating element you'll get small bubbles forming so I'll just leave that and we'll see how long it takes well 20 minutes later it is now too hot to keep your finger in for very long at all so it's doing not too bad uh, that's, that's what you'd expect for a kettle which only consumes 120 watts so I will give it longer until it's boiling so it's now 35 minutes past 8 and I would say that it's definitely hot enough for a cup of tea. It's not exactly boiling yet so we'll leave it a little bit longer until it starts really bubbling and then that way we'll know that it's boiled but I really don't think it'll be much longer now. So I would say that after 40 minutes it's going to have the water almost at 100 celsius uh, so that's fine for like noodles or, or whatever 40 minutes I'd say for this kettle is fine but if your car can output a slightly higher voltage uh, the time would be slightly less so I'm just going to let it run sort of longer until I get steam coming out of it there's no steam coming out just now but it's it's making the usual sound that a, that a kettle sort of makes so it's consumed about 
how much energy. Let's see. Oh, it's just switched itself off. And the light has turned green, so yeah, so for so after 45 minutes it's uh, switched itself off, so that's pretty good. Uh, and we have consumed 7 amp hours and 93 watt hours, which for an electric car would only take its range down by not even a quarter of a mile, so it's uh, pretty much nothing at all. So that's it. Ready now, and it seems like a pretty decent kettle.